setup wise to be honest with you the one on the left is your what we call before yeah. the right hand one is your after but the setup on this left hand side one is certainly better with the club just a little bit forward not having it too far back or too far forward okay but a bit for this one is a little bit slightly more towards your kind of back leg there just a little bit not too bad but just a bit more kind of back to this your Supposed right leg like just more in front of your body to be fair yeah, yeah okay but if we look at the movement here on the left hand side and as you go back you can see the club goes back now your elbows and shoulders don't actually move and you can see that what's moving that golf club yeah that left wrist sort of bending and breaking if i zoom in yeah. there you can see kind of that move there is all right wrist so your right wrist angle here is just getting basically bigger yeah as you go back the angle gets greater so you go back with your wrists and then flip your wrist so it's just about this sort of yeah. movement here very sort of a yeah. fast twitch fiber which is good for distance but when you're putting over 10 foot the last thing you want is distance and the first putt you saw just went a country mile past yeah. the hole there okay so what we're looking for is kind of a bit more of a see that's going back a bit more kind of with the arms you see actually arm moving away from your body here just look at where your arm is kind of here it sort of it moves back it's a bit more of a pendulum coming from kind of up here not there in the wrist okay so it's more of a what we call a dead strike it's a little bit flicky-ish coming through but that movement there now with the shoulders the arms the elbows the wrists all working together is better than what you had here before where just a Flick. yeah he's that sort of jabby movement there okay and that movement's going to be very sort of conducive to all shots around the green where you're chipping or putting we'll do a few chip shots to finish off with in a second as well but that kind of movement now has to come kind of with the arms and the wrist and the elbow everything's moving now so if i'm swinging this golf club now my lead arm you can see is moving from up in the shoulder blade up or the shoulder socket up here it's not this way it's not that way it's creating a movement if i said you sort of throw a ball under arm you just throw the ball with your right arm yeah. your arm would just kind of swing back and swing through you wouldn't think oh i'm going to throw the ball to gareth and go no. and just flick it with your wrist would you there'd be a bit of wrist hinge no doubt but the movement generally speaking would come kind of from up in the shoulder there yeah so when you are putting this triangle that your arms make at address sort of your right arm the left arm and the shoulders you just kind of maintain that throughout so once you've got one constant swing back and forth that little tiny t peg in there you can put a golf ball um i got I don't know, an eraser at home or something of that sort of size you can sort of place in there get the feeling of how that club needs to sort of swing back as one and if it's something that's fairly soft you'll then sort of feel a bit of a squeeze with it when you do it wrong yeah, yeah. everything works back as one movement together you'll feel okay yeah. okay and to be honest with you i mean i'm sure martin or may have got something you can borrow i'm about they're called winter tees the design basically to put on the ground in the winter where you can't tee the ball up so right. i'm sure they'll have something of that you could borrow if you're going to ask them have you got any winter tees i could borrow um and they could use that okay does that kind of make sense then with kind yes, of how the moves going? okay so we'll do a bit of chipping now